you know, there is no democracy if there is no uh, uh, if women don't have their rights, if the LGBT people don't have their rights, they it's it's one you know it's one fight, it's one battle, and what was uh, great after you know this protest last year is that for some time it didn't last for a long time because they were quarrels and problems but for some time um, the those people all those people who um, whose rights were endangered united to uh, talk together so as I told you they were disabled people uh, they were LGBT people uh, they were, you know, women who sat together to to talk together about what should be done, work for a really democratic project for everybody. And if there is no independent judiciary system, uh, everybody is aware and was aware when they were protesting that uh, you know, the, 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 it, it can't work be, uh, participating in the protest, but I have to also say that there is a group of um, protesters who are called uh, um, Polish grandmas, and they are uh, old ladies who are there uh, for all the protests, um, like to, to fight for Polish democracy, to fight for LGBT rights or women rights. And one of them, uh, who is uh, called Babcia Kasia, so she is always there and she had a lot of problems with the police. And, you know, when you see her, she, you know, she's very small, she's an older person. They, uh, she got to uh, she was arrested many times. Sometimes her, you know, she had, she has to take the me medicine. So the police would take her medicine, which is, you know, a threat to her health. Uh, so the, the church has a very special position in Poland, and um, it it is due to the fact that the, uh, in the communist time the church was um, uh, very active and uh, it was a place where the opposition could, the only place where the opposition could govern and fight against um, the communist government. So because of this the, the Polish church has a special position. But when the um, when the uh, regime was to change in 1989, it became very quickly clear that uh, the church was trying to uh, play a very big political role in Poland, and it became clear. Uh, already in 1989 because that's where uh, when the pressure from the church started on abortion rights that's already in 1989 and last year when the protests were held that's for the first time when people went to the streets in a huge number and you could see this young mainly young women saying openly uh, in very vulgar and rude words, what they thought about the church. They, they started to talk about everything, about the pedophilia, that every, you know, everybody knew about it, but everybody talked about it, but never, you know, there were never open protests against it. And something which, you know, which was said before, but only in the feminist circles, now was shouted by, you know, thousands of people in the streets, you know, and you could see it on banners, people were saying, you know, uh, we have enough of it. I think that uh, there is a huge hope with these young people, because they have really a different mentality, boys and girls, and they are very, they are extremely active. And um, 
it, it's going to take time because if they are, I don't know, 13, 14, 15 now, but already, you know, very much into it and aware and they know how to, they know how to raise funds, they know how to organize protests.